some Mario Universe action here. Yeah. Get a little bit of that Luigi Wario. Um, stocks. This could be a long, gruesome game, or Socks might just be flying off the screen. We really don't know what to expect. Uh, Luigi obviously has that super potent zero to death combo. Uh, and then Wario kind of, people say that Wario plays like you have two Socks at all times. Just because that extra waft you have. Uh, so we're going to be starting here at Small Battlefield, so let's hop into the action. Yeah, the threat in and of itself may keep this game from getting... <laughs> from being a little bit too scrappy, as we see BD Bean kind of realizing that while this stage may not be the best against Luigi, he still has platforms and he still can use them to try and poke out, uh, poke out Guy Guy and make sure that he's got uh, plenty of room to work with and maneuver around Luigi. Because while you do have to fear that grab and the bad air, you don't have to fear Luigi coming in all of the sudden. It's, Misfires withstanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I think the main thing that BD needs to do well is play outside of that threat zone. Luigi has this immediate horizontal threat zone and the immediate vertical with you know your grab and with your uppy. If you can play outside of that, you're fine. Uh, Wario, luckily a character with a ton of mobility. They seem to be stopped here and they're talking to each other. And um. seems to be a quick issue. We're not sure what exactly is. Oh, the All classic. Right. The classic? Okay. Yeah, calibrating, disconnecting. Oh no. We are we are back at offline events, so someone did not disconnect their pro controller. Um, this is a PSA. Please do disconnect your pro controller. Just literally, it helps everybody. Just literally do it. Just just you have no reason do not it. to. I'm looking at you right now. <laughs> you better do it. You individual <laughs> you, through this you camera. Specifically. <laughs> camera that's not on us. <laughs> I need you to disconnect it. Oh, but, it, oh. I mean, this is how. Yeah, at least I, it was. It was beginning of game one. There were even percents. This is true. This is true. Um, it wasn't going too fast. Wasn't going too slow. So it doesn't affect waft a ton. Yeah, especially since the game is paused. Like the in-game yeah. timers. Like it, we're we're in a stagnant, yeah. neutral position mm -hmm. as we're gonna bring it. Nice okay. transition. I love that yeah. transition. Yeah, honestly, I love the branding for this event in general. I think it's super clean. I think it's kind of a unique theme to do this this kind of a themed event. I haven't seen this really so. Yeah, with the with the volleyball inspired, mm -hmm. they've been giving away these little uh, yeah. volleyballs, which and is super NPT cool. balls, NPT NPT balls in, in, in the real clutch. Life. Yeah, like in truly. the clutch. like like volleyballs. Like, oh. okay, are we <laughs> resetting or are they? Uh, I think they're just. Are they just playing where they were? All right, probably okay. do a countdown and then get back into the match. I would assume. I unless mean, probably. Unless they just want to reset entirely. No, no. No, they're, they're just doing a. Uh, they're doing a neutral reset. Okay. Right. And we're back to. Uh, we're back to the game. Uh, you know, the little intermission. You got to hear us talk a little bit more, and we're back into it. I, I mean, here yeah. we are. Here we are. Nice. Relatively quick and painless, and we can get back into a game that might be a lot more gruesome. Uh, playing oh, against yeah. a character, playing against either of these characters, requires a little bit of a diligence test. Yeah. It's like how determined do you want to be to try and get that lead, and how determined do you want to be to wait them out? Be oh, saying either oh. and getting punished for it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need a bit of that mental fortitude with either of these characters. So it's interesting to see who can play against their own thing. Didn't quite have a DI on that. I think it still might have killed regardless. But either way, we're resetting to zero, except it's not really zero when Wario has walked. It is just, you are just waiting for it. Speaking of, there it is on deck. <laughs> there, there she is. Right. I like that Guy Guy isn't putting all of their eggs in one basket. Right? <laughs> like They understand what's great about Luigi in a lot of ways. That's two misfires, by the way. What's great about Luigi in a lot of ways of that combo game. It is that punishing game, and we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's the punish the combo game, and that's exactly what you're talking about. They can, they definitely, I don't know if they were looking for bite out of that. That was an interesting conversion if that's what they were looking for. But Luigi can blow you up if you're not careful. It has so much burst is what Luigi kind of, that's the name of the game. Yeah, it's, it's spontaneous damage because look, you got hit once, not even grab, and not even looking for the full combo, but yeah. just hit once into such a long advantage string leads to 100 one way or another. And oh, that's yeah. really what is dangerous about Luigi in a lot of instances, is that yeah, you may be prepared for these individual combos, but are you prepared for the damage that's going to rack up regardless of if the combo completes? Yeah, definitely. But we are last stock and Wario does have off. Yeah, so this is even. This is anyone's game if he can find the right hit. Yep. Oh, does not go for it there. Yeah, I don't think he... Ooh, that 
that's huge for BDB because he landed three up airs, but none of them were the pristine type of landing that yeah. he wanted to to like to land. Yeah, his, so I think when people think about spacing, they usually think about horizontal spacing. Vertical spacing is key for a character like Wario when you're trying to go for these types of conversions. You can yeah. have the, you can be right where you are, need to be horizontally, but if you're not at just the right range for such a, an important conversion, it doesn't matter. But we're seeing the same characters. Uh, let's see what, I didn't see what the stage counter pick is. Yeah, I believe they just ran. Oh no, okay. PS2, okay. Okay. the classic. Try State Stadium, we're here. Yeah, honestly, this is just, this is just what, what Ultimate is. We tried and true, we'll see what can happen here. Um, same plat layout, slightly different heights, but, it shouldn't change too much. It's more so in terms of how much space you have to work with on the stage. And what you really want here is the length of the stage, right? <laughs> Wario, part of the kit is the fact that he can just weave in and out like it's nothing. Yeah, and so this center stage is going to be incredibly cru crucial for BD Bean to control at any given moment. Because if he lets the guy guy kind of set up with... Uh, with these airs underneath these platforms, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a real, a, a real <laughs> trial for BBB, yeah. to say the least. Yeah, this first stock is so crucial. You, you, and there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> it is. It was so crucial. It came exactly when I was talking about it. It's great. Uh, the commentator curse. And <laughs> looking for the falling up air afterwards, and now we see BBB oh. starting to wait. Yeah, he is catching on to these habits. Guy Guy has to switch him up. He cannot be relying on the air dodge on the Cyclones if they are getting punished. Yeah. And there it is. Another wave. Now, I remember when I was first learning the Luigi matchup, I got a nice tidbit that said, hey, you, Luigi is the only character you have true train, chain grabs on because after every throw, they're going to mash air dodge or cyclone. <laughs> it, is, it really is just true. But PDD does not care. This adaptation to this, from game one to now is kind of insane. And getting hit with the up smash there, still 80%, you have waft, or you're about to have it at least. I think they're fine with this. Oh, and that was this. a chance for an F toe, but he was not expecting the uh, the hold down from Guy Guy. Yeah. That is a curse of a misfire. <laughs> misfire, she giveth and she taketh away, and that was the perfect example of it. You you cannot control your luck. <laughs> but you do have a grab to control whether or not you hit the zero to death, and you do. This is going to be a last act situation because Luigi did Luigi things. We heard screams in the venue. Everyone popping off for Guy Guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. The dad power up showing its showing its true form. <laughs> the dad power up is unreal. This is what happens when you don't respect Luigi's space. Like you get blown up like this. Granted, Wario can still kill you about now. Yeah. But this is gonna be for oh, oh no! And that is a crazy upset. That's huge. That's a massive upset. That was round two. That was that was not okay. So that wasn't what? supposed to happen. What? That's not how. <laughs> that wasn't in the script. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> That's not what I had written down on the screen the here. Script, the script's in shambles. <laughs> yeah. BD Bean yeah. falls to Guy Guy two zero. Yeah. Great stuff from Guy Guy though. He played that. He played that really well. Obviously there was some 